Hello and good afternoon, candidates. Uh, today I've got something very beautiful for you. I am revising about blood circulatory system, among many other body systems. But let us today focus on the blood circulatory system. Now, under blood circulatory system, we've got the parts of the blood circulatory system. Parts of the blood circulatory system. And these uh, parts are the heart. The heart, you can see there is the heart. Number two, the blood itself. And number three, the blood vessels. The blood vessels. I hope you can note that one down. The heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. Uh -huh. I, I don't want to go on with the introduction before I go to the question, because I've picked several questions from the KCP papers, past KCP papers, to revise using them. Now, KCP 2014, 2014, uh, question number 26, and it's written here, which of the following components of blood is correctly matched with its function? components of blood here we are talking about components of blood before we answer this question let us see which are these components of blood which are these components of blood we have the red blood cells the red blood cells as a component of blood the red blood cells uh-huh the red blood cells we want to look at what its work is the red blood cells it's tiny the red blood cells is tiny it's smaller than the white blood cells it's smaller than the white blood cells yeah it is the one that combines with hemoglobin it's red in color as the name suggests it's red in color it combines with um, oxygen to make a component known as oxyhemoglobin and so it carries oxygen oxyhemoglobin right forms a, 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 a component called oxyhemoglobin uh -huh. um, and we, we have known that hemoglobin is the red coloring pigment in the blood the red coloring pigment or uh, the red coloring matter in the human or in the blood of any animal that is called hemoglobin and so and that's why it's red in color it gives it combines with uh, oxygen and so it transports oxygen um, to the rest part of the body it transports oxygen and even after transporting oxygen it also takes the carbon dioxide from the different part of the body and uh, brings it as carboxyhemoglobin. That's a difficult term, eh? carboxyhemoglobin. But don't you worry about the big, big terms. Let us focus on what we have learned, transport oxygen and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and uh, carbon dioxide. Uh -huh. Combines with, with oxygen. Uh -huh. to form oxyhemoglobin look at that oxyhemoglobin now oxy stands for oxygen and hemoglobin stands for the red coloring pigment so when they come together they form oxyhemoglobin red blood cells uh -huh. white blood cells White blood cells are a bit bigger. They are in the shape of um, they are in the shape of amoeba. They are shapeless. Yeah, they're in the shape of amoeba. Um, and its work is to fight. They act as anti bodies. So they their work is to fight and protect. Fight the germs. Fight. Its work is to fight. The disease causing germs in the blood, in the body, 
Yeah, they, they are the ascaris of the body. They are the ascaris. They, they help in the defense system. So the human immune system is composed of the white blood cells. Now let's look at the platelets. The platelets, the platelets are, um, are used for, 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 they help in the clotting of the blood. Clotting of the blood. Clotting of the blood. During injury or cuts, you realize that the blood begins to come out. The blood oozes or flows out from the tissue of the body. And uh, uh, for a short while, you find that the blood has stopped uh, flowing. That stoppage of flowing of the blood on an injured place is called the clotting of the blood. The clotting of the blood. The blood solidifies or becomes a solid and it, it stops, it closes the wound and so it stops flowing. That's called clotting of the blood. So the part of the, of the blood that um, helps in the clotting of the blood is the platelets. Thank you. Then, now, let me talk about the three parts that I've already mentioned. These three parts here, these three parts here are uh, the solid parts of the blood. They are the solid parts of the blood. Remember, the blood is divided into two parts, into two parts, the solid and the liquid. The solid part of the blood is called the corpuscles, the blood corpuscles. Uh -huh. uh, let me write somewhere, boys and girls, my board is limited, but allow me to write somewhere here, corpuscles. Um, I hope I am right, corpuscles, or blood cells. Blood corpuscles or blood cells, yeah? Blood corpuscles or blood cells. I'm, I hope I'm right with the spelling of corpuscles, mm -hmm. So these are the solid part. They are called the solid part of the blood. The solid part of the blood are called the corpuscles or the cells. That's why we have the white cells, the, the white cells, the red cells, and the platelets. Now, then here comes the plasma. Plasma is the liquid part of the blood. Plasma is the liquid part of the blood. Liquid part of the blood. It's the liquid part of the blood. And its work is for transportation. Its work is for transportation. Now, all the other parts of the blood, I mean the, the corpuscles, uh, float inside plasma. They float inside plasma, right? So plasma is like a medium where they float as they move, as the blood flows. It gives the blood the liquid sensation. Thank you. Now, having known uh, that we have uh, the components of blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, uh, platelets, and plasma, having known that and their function, we can now come to answer question uh, number 26 of uh, KCP 2014. Which of the following components of blood is correctly marked with its function? And then choice A, it says red blood cells, clotting of the blood. Boys and girls, which component of blood um, helps in the clotting of blood? Which component of blood helps in the clotting of blood? Kebata. Very well. It is the platelets. It is the platelets. Correct. So choice A is eliminated. So if I were doing an exam, I would mark here and right here above it, I would write platelets. I would write platelets above there. Mm -hmm. Right, white blood cells transport of oxygen. Mm -mm. What would I write? I would write here. What is the, the work of the white blood cells? 
five T germs. What combines doctrine? Red blood cells. So I'll write here red blood cells. Alright? Platelets. Fighting germs for boys and girls. Which component of blood fights germs? Which component of blood fights germs? Um, Mary? Mary, which component of blood fights germs? Very good, very good. Uh, give her a clap. That is great, Mary. Uh, the component of blood that fights germs is the white blood cells, the WBCs, the white blood cells that fights germs. Now, choice D, plasma transports food. Is that right? Plasma transports food. So its work is transportation. It's the liquid part of the blood. And I said it's like a medium within which the other parts of the blood uh, float as the blood flows in the veins. Thank you. Now we have completed that. And so the right choice here is D. The right choice here is D. Uh, boys and girls. That's how we answer science questions. Remember, in KCPE, the right answer is about the true facts of that particular concept that has been asked. The true fact of that particular com concept. And uh, thank you. Let's go to the next part of uh, the question. 2016. 2016. Question number four. Question number four. The diagram below represents the structure of the heart. This is the diagram. Boys and girls, have I drawn a beautiful diagram of the heart? Thank you. I feel like blushing eh, that you congratulated me for drawing. I'm an artist also. Thank you. So this is the diagram. And um, um, uh, the question is, name the blood vessels labeled K, L, M, and N. Name the blood vessels labeled K, L, M, N, N. All right? Let's come here to this other part of the blood. Blood vessels on the right side of, side of the heart. Blood vessels on the right side of the heart. Right side is this side. And these are the blood vessels. This one and that one. Yeah? So this one and that one. Okay? So I have used this mnemonic, mnemonic, yeah? B <coughs> V kappa V kappa V kappa Veca stands for vena cava. Venus veca stands for vena cava. Vena cava. Pa stands for pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. So for you to remember, you just say Vekapa, blood vessels on the right side of the heart. Vekapa. And you know that Vekapa, Veka stands for Vena Kaba, Pa stands for pulmonary artery, and you'll be able to understand. So it is Vena Kaba. This is Vena Kaba, VC, and this is pulmonary artery, PA. Uh huh. Let's go to the next part. I hope you're understanding. Get those ta tactics and you'll be able to answer KCP questions with ease. And remember, practice makes perfect. The more you answer, the more you master the concept. And so they become part of you. Let's go on. Blood vessels on the, on the left side of the heart. Left side of the heart. Uh huh. Left side of the heart. We've got um, a puve. Say a puve. A puve. 
who will be able to remember when you use that. So A stands for Aota. Aota. Pube stands for pulmonary. Vein. Pube stands for pulmonary vein. So for us to be able to and to remember easily, you say a pube and be able to know that a stands for outer and pube stands for pulmonary vein. So these are the two blood vessels that are found on the right, on the left side of the blood. Boys and girls, look at that heart again. Look at that heart again. The left side has red and so it's brighter but the right side is a mixture of red and black. I couldn't have a better color to, to represent that and so it is not brighter, it's darker. That one tells you that it's on the left side that we have pure blood. That will tell you that it's on the left side that we have pure blood. But on the right side, it's dark and it's dirty, and so that is impure blood. I hope you get that. Right? And so let's look at the question again. Name the blood vessels labeled A, K, L, M, and N. So let's name them. Yeah? So we say this is outer and this is pulmonary vein, right? I want to, 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 to do the arrows. That one must come that way and this one must go that way. This one must come that way and this one must go that way. We'll explain later why I've done that. So let's look at K. K is, allow me to write here, K, let me write here, K, K is VC, Vena Cava, uh -huh. L is pulmonary artery, uh -huh. M is Aorta and N is pulmonary vein. Boys and girls, I repeat K is vena cava, L is pulmonary artery, M is aorta, and N is pulmonary vein. I hope you've understood. And so you can get from the choices. I did not write the choices, but I have it. I have the paper here. Choice A: vena cava, pulmonary vein, aorta, pulmonary artery. Vena cava, pulmonary vein, aorta, and pulmonary artery. Definitely, that is out. It is not going in tandem with our list here. B, pulmonary artery, aorta, pulmonary vein, vena cava. Obviously, it's out. Uh -huh. C, vena cava, pulmonary artery, aorta, pulmonary vein. Boys and girls, with that one seems to be the right answer. But let us read choice D. Pulmonary vein, vena cava, pulmonary artery, and outer. That is wrong. There is wrong placement. So the answer is C. The answer to that question is C. I hope you can see how we have reasoned with that. Boys and girls, before, before we go to the next question, shall we stand up and stretch? Stand up. Stretch your hands above your head. Breathe in. Drop your hands as you breathe out. Breathe out. 
One more time. Out. Thank you. You can now swing side to side, swing from side to side. Window panes are open to bring in enough air so that our brain can get enough air circulated. Are you swinging somebody? But don't hit one another as you swing. Thank you. You can now sit down. Let us go on with the next question. Uh -huh. The next question, um, before we go to the next KCP question, there are other KCP related questions on the structure of the heart. You can find them from the various KCP papers that have ever been done in our country. I've managed to get one from uh, KCP 2005, that long time ago, before you were born, maybe. Question number 10. If talking about the facts about the heart, please allow me to read the question, but we will not dwell on it. Question number 10. The diagram is drawn like this one, and they are asking us, which one of the following statements is true about this diagram? Which, which one of the following statements is true? And so, you must have known the concept of the structure of the heart to be able to understand this. You must know that this side has uh, uh, dirty or impure blood. We always call them deoxygenated blood deoxygenated blood on the right side and oxygenated blood on the left side you must know you must also be uh, knowing that the walls of the left ventricle are very thick they are very thick and the reason is that the left ventricle pushes blood to a bigger area the rest of the body and so it needs a lot of pressure. Uh -huh. You must also know that the blood entering the blood vessels entering the heart are always veins. They are the blood vessels that enter the heart are always veins. The blood vessels that leave the heart are always arteries. Uh -huh. You must also know the fact that vena cava is a major vein and aorta is a major artery you must have that to answer this question so in your own house please sit down with question number 10 with the information i've given you to be able to answer that question i hope you've understood thank you so let's go to the next question next kcp question kcp 2007 question number three KCP 2007, question number three. The blood vessel through which deoxygenated blood flows to the heart is dash. The blood vessel through which deoxygenated blood flows to the heart is dash. Uh -huh. Let's look at these blood vessels before we answer the question. Vessels that bring blood to the heart. We say they must be veins. They must be veins. And I've used the mnemonic VEPU. VEPU stands for vena cava and pulmonary vein. Remember, they must be veins, vena cava, and pulmonary veins, boys and girls. You understand that? So I use vein to know the blood that flow inside the heart. They bring blood inside the heart. They bring blood. Yes? Vena cava, eh, pulmonary artery. So you can sing that song and you'll be able to understand the flow of the blood that is the song yeah so please remember that song 
Let's come to the vessels that take blood away from the heart. The vessels that take blood away from the heart. Upper is the is the, the mnemonic upper. And they must be arteries. They must be arteries. They must be arteries. And so the first artery, the major artery is the outer. PA stands for pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery. You understand that? Now, having known these, how they flow, from where are they running, and to where are they going, we can be able to answer this question, boys and girls. Now, now, from that explanation, who can be able to answer that question? Who can be able? Kebata, you have not answered the question today. Please answer the question. Correct, Kebata. And the answer is Vena Kava. And the answer is Vena Kava. And that is choice C, the blood vessel through which the oxygenated blood flows to the heart. Vena cover. Look at my diagram. This is the vena cover. Look at my arrow. It's pointing towards the heart. So it brings blood inside. So the blood flows in this direction. From the vena cover goes to the right ventricle and from the right ventricle the blood goes to through the pulmonary artery this blood goes to the lungs to lungs what is the blood going to the lung to do and lung is not an organ of circulatory system for purification for purification so blood is purified in the lungs right then from the lungs the blood flows back from the lungs from lungs the blood flows back through the pulmonary vein to the left auricle left auricle from the left auricle the blood goes to the left ventricle then from the left ventricle through the outer, the blood goes to the rest of the body. And that is the cycle of blood. The, blood, the flow of the blood does not stop whatsoever. Blood needs to continue flowing as long as the living thing is still alive. Boys and girls, I hope you understand that. Now, we refer to question to KCP 2013, question number 13, talking about facts about vena cava. Let's look at KCP uh, 2013, question 13. Which of the following statements is true about vena cava? It carries dash A deoxygenated blood B blood from the lungs C blood under high pressure D blood from the heart vena cover now from our explanation here boys and girls you will be able to answer this question I'm not gonna answer this question for you please take it as a challenge and sit down and answer that question. Now, apart from KCPE, there are other question, question papers that we have done before. There's JESMA 5 2015. JESMA 5 2015 is green, green like the dollars in America. 
Yes, number 5, 2015, question number 12. Question number 12. They have asked us, which one of the following is the function of white blood cells? Which one of the following is the function of white blood cells? Boys and girls, the components of blood are there and their function. You can be able to answer this question with ease. Uh -huh. There is another question here. Um, from um, sorry, uh, from uh, it's called Kenya National Examinations Council um, uh, Revision Series um, 507 2018. 2018, question number 23. Which one of the following? Blood vessels carries blood from the left ventricle. Oh, that brings me to another thing that I forgot to tell you. But you can be able to understand. From the left ventricle. Where is the left ventricle? That is. Where is the arrow pointing? That way. And so, aorta is attached directly to the left ventricle. It is attached directly to the left ventricle. Pulmonary artery is attached directly to the right ventricle. So the arteries are attached to the ventricles, whereas the veins are attached to the auricles. You can see that. That's a detail that you need to know if you did not know. Boys and girls, I have done my level best to guide you on how to revise for KCP. Now, I would like you to maybe download KCP papers from 2019 downwards to uh, 2009, 10 years in a row, and look for questions on, uh, questions on blood circulatory system. You will be helped. Did you enjoy the learning? Thank you. Clap for me. I love you all. God bless you this afternoon.